Margot, nothing you've ever done has made me as happy as you're taking Eve in. I'm so happy you're happy. Now look here, you haven't been running a settlement house exactly. The kid has earned her way. You had a pretty mixed up inventory when she took over. Merchandise laying all over the shop. You got Margot mixed up with a five and ten cent store. Make it very comfortable. Everything on his proper shelf, eh, Max? All done up in two minutes. I could die right now and nobody be confused. How about you, Max? How about me what? Suppose you drop dead. What about your inventory? I ain't going to drop dead. Not for the heat. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most ghoulish conversation. Thank you. Just Max! Oh, you! Fifi! The kid, the junior that is, will be down in a minute unless you'd like to take her drink up to her. I can get a fresh one. Huh? You're a Gibson girl. The general atmosphere is very Macbethish. What has or is about to happen? What is he talking about? Macbeth. We know you. We've seen you like this before. Is it over or is it just beginning? Fasten your seatbelts. It's going to be a bumpy night. Ah, oh, by golly, it's good to be home. Home? Home? Oh, sure, sure. This is where I live. Of course. Gee, what a nice room. Must have been a lovely old residence once. Yes, I suppose so. Uh, Georgie. Yes? I, uh... I uh, w w was just thinking, uh, uh, why don't you stay down here and work? What? Uh, you, you, you know, you could take uh, case histories and you could interpret. You speak several languages, don't you? Why, uh, yes, I, I speak Russian, French, Italian, German, and a little English. Of course, it's kind of silly. You'd make more if you went on relief. But I'm not very good with a shovel. And it'd kind of give me a chance to keep my eye on you. You know, doing your uh, convalescence. Of course, that's not the real reason. I, I want to see you. It would make me happy just to have you around. Somebody wants her baby. She wants her baby. She's all right. Well done. The baby dies. She comes around crying for it. Why don't you give me my baby? Tell her that she gave me my baby. She wants you to get her baby back. Uh, uh, tell, tell her we'll send her baby back. Dici che la manderanno a casa. Tell her to go and lie down and rest for a little while. We'll take care of everything. Deve riposarsi un po', signora. Poi faremo tutto il necessario. Oh, oh, grazie, dottore. A lei credo. E anche a questa buona signorina. She trusts you. And me. She lives next door, doesn't she? Yes, doctor. I'll take her. Oh, no, that isn't necessary. But I'm starting to work. Here, uh, uh, buy her a doll, a big one. Sometimes it helps if they have something to hold in their arms. Mm -hmm. I have money. Venga, signora. Dopo vedo la sua bambina. Grazie, signorina. Ti porteranno la mia bambina. Say, she's not just all looks. No. No. No, she's a lot more than that. She's too useful a citizen to go to waste. And don't let her go to waste. I'd like to do something about it, but I don't know what. Well, people still get married, you know, to other people. Me? Me? <laughs> Her? <coughs> <laughs> Say, she's like something you see in a jeweler's window. A single flawless gem on a piece of black velvet. You take one long look and then you pass on. What? Would you do me a very small favor? I don't know. It depends on the favor. You know Geiger's bookstore across the street? I think I may have passed You know Geiger by sight? Well, I... What does he look like? Wouldn't it be easy enough to go across the street and ask to see him? I've already done that. Oh. You know anything about rare books? You could try me. Would you happen to have a Ben-Hur 1863rd edition with a duplicated line on page 116? Or a Chevalier Audubon, 1840? Nobody would. There isn't one. 
The girl in Geiger's bookstore didn't know that. Oh, I... I see. You begin to interest me. Vaguely. Yeah. I'm a private dick on a case. Perhaps I'm asking too much. Although it doesn't seem too much to me, somehow. Well, Geiger's in his early 40s. Medium height. Fattish. Soft all over. Charlie Chan mustache. Well-dressed. Wears a black hat. Affects the knowledge of antiques and hasn't any. And, oh, yes, I think his left eye is glass. You'd make a good cop. Thanks. Going to wait for him to come out? Yeah. Mm, it'll close for another hour or so. It's raining pretty hard. I got my car. Yeah, that's right, it is, isn't it? You know, it just happens. I got a bottle of pretty good rye in my pocket. I'd about rather get wet in here. like we're closed for the rest of the afternoon. Tell me more about this business. Oh, there isn't much to tell. I... What's the matter? I'm just wondering if you have to, uh... Oh, not necessarily. Little things like that make enough. trying all morning to contact the governor for a confirmation of Scoop's story. No luck. Well, keep trying. We've got to know if Malloy is going to the chair tonight. All right. Mr. Ainsley just arrived. Now, you wait. I'll tell him you're here. Good morning, Pop. Good morning, Liz. Say, there's a young chap named Bell waiting to see you outside with a letter from the mayor. Hey, gods, I promised the mayor I'd give him a job. Why do people ask you to do favors for them all the time? Will you talk to him now? Find out what he can do. Oh, have a heart, Pop. Randall brushed him off onto me two hours ago, and I got work to do. You figure out something. Play games with him. Show him your etchings. Uh, will Mr. Ainsley see me now? Not yet. Randall, I want to see Scoop as soon as he shows up. Oh, Pop! Huh? This is Mr. Bell. Well, glad to know you, Mr. Bell. Oh, but... Say, it's after 12 o'clock. You'd better go get some lunch. Oh, I never eat lunch. Ah, good morning, Toots. What's good about it? Oh, too timey, me, huh? If you're considering a journalistic career, Mr. Bell, let that be a warning to you. Who is he? Scoop Connor, one of the best news reporters in the world, when he's sober. What gutter did you wake up in? Oh, appearances are misleading, Pop. I haven't had a drink since yesterday afternoon, or any sleep either. Oh, on the square, Pop. I got this shiner talking back to Bergen. Mm-hmm. Well, is the governor going to save my life from the chair tonight, or isn't he? Why don't you ask him? Because I can't reach him. Well, then go ask the district attorney. Yes. He ought to know. Hello, Doctor. Sorry to be late. Well, that's quite all right. <laughs> These boys from the newspapers, they take up so much of my time. You know, they wanted me to hang Williams at their convenience. Oh, hello, hello. These hello. newspapers, what they did to me in Chicago. Oh, I quite believe <laughs> Always after me for interviews. Yes, me too. Of course, I did rather promise to make them some sort of statement when I finished here. Uh, you don't mind, do you? Uh, well, it's hardly ethical, Doctor. You oh? see, all statements are supposed to come from me. I see. Well, uh, well, what do you say to giving them some sort of joint interview? I can discuss some of the psychological aspects of the case, and you... Uh, you mean we'd have our pictures taken together? Yes, yes, shaking oh, hands. Splendid idea. Uh, of course, I don't take a very good picture. Oh, that doesn't matter, Doctor. The publicity is the main thing. Doctor, I'm getting awful tired. Can't I go back to jail again? Oh, I'm awfully sorry. I forgot you were there. Uh, no, Mr. Williams, we have some further questions for you. Sheriff, do you mind extinguishing the light, please? Of course, Doctor. I think that'll help us a lot more we have to do over here. Now, let me see. Uh, Mr. Williams, you know, of course, that you're going to be executed. Now, who do you feel is responsible for that? I'm innocent. It wasn't my fault. 
Wilmer. Send us a postcard. That'll yeah. do. Goodbye, Hilly. Right, right. right. So long, Janssen. Until we see you again, Janssen. Next time you see me, I should be riding in a Rolls Royce giving interviews on success. Goodbye. Uh, so long, you wage slaves. Bye. 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 Oh, when you're crawling up fire escapes and getting kicked out of front doors, needing Christmas dinners and one arm joints, don't forget your pal, Hilly Johnson. We worry. And when the road beyond unfolds and the <laughs> Yeah, 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 don't worry, I'm on the job. 